Greetings, welcome to Facts About Everything, I'm your host, James Egan. Today we're going to look at the Disney film, Pocahontas. Although, that wasn't actually her name, that was her nickname. Her real name was Matawaka. Pocahontas meant frisky. It was a nickname that the setters gave her. Although it sounds like a cheeky nickname, it was considered to be incredibly insulting to her tribe. So, every time you're calling her Pocahontas, you are actually insulting her. And that is the first fact about the Disney film. Let's dive in. Only two animated Disney films are based on true stories, Pocahontas and Mulan. Also, it goes out saying, let me know if you want me to do a video about Mulan. The film was in production for five years. Christian Bale voices Thomas. He plays Rolf in the 2005 film, The New World, which also revolves around Pocahontas. We've got to save him. He'd do the same for any of us. Suppose I asked you to marry me, what would you say? Also, to do this justice, I need to talk about the actual historical character. Pocahontas was born in Werewokomoko. The area is now known as Gloucester County, Virginia. Her father, Poatan, was the chief of the Chesapeake tribe. He ruled 15,000 people. When the settlers came to the Americas, Pocahontas was married to a man called Cocom. Pocahontas was 11 when John Smith and the Setters came to the Americas. At the time, Smith was 28. Despite what the Disney films depict, they never had any romantic relationship. When Powhatan confronted the Settlers, he believed they were after his land. Powhatan believed this because that's totally what they were trying to do. Like, why else would they come to America? Holiday? Oh look, a new world. Let's head back now. Let that be a lesson to you, kids. Nobody does something without wanting something in return. Also subscribe. Not one to take a chance, Powhatan had John Smith captured and placed his head in a block ready to kill him. Pocahontas threw herself in front of Smith and begged her father to spare his life. When the settlers ran out of food, they declared war on the tribe. When Powhatan captured the settlers, Captain Argyll kidnapped Pocahontas, killed her husband, and viciously assaulted her before bringing her back to Europe. While she was there, Pocahontas was indoctrinated in European customs and given the name Rebecca. She married John Rolfe in 1614 and had a son called Thomas. Although Pocahontas made her way back to America many years later, she never saw her family again. She had no immunity to European diseases and became fatally ill on the journey home. She died when she was only 21. The last thing she ever said was, all must die, but tis enough that her child liveth. Some crew members of The Lion King abandoned the film and decided to work on Pocahontas instead, believing it was going to be more successful. Ironically, The Lion King was the most successful film of the year and made more money than any animated film in history at the time. 55 animators designed the Pocahontas character. The film premiered in Central Park. Disney representatives worried that it might rain while the film was being shown. Weirdly, it only rained during a raining scene in the film. Stephen Fry was considered for the role of Governor Ratcliffe. The role went to David Ogden Steers, who is best known for voicing Cogsworth in Beauty and the Beast. I couldn't have planned this better myself. The gold is as good as mine. Sir, close that at once. Do you mind? Originally, all the animals could speak. Their dialogue was cut to make the film more realistic. Speaking of realism, let's look at the talking tree. The tree, Grandmother Willow, was originally going to be a man called Old Man River. Yeah, that's clever. Pocahontas uses willow bark on John Smith after he is shot. Willow bark contains salicylic acid, which is a fundamental component in aspirin. Billy Connolly voices Ben. You coming on this voyage too? Of course he is, you halfway. You can't fight Indians without John Smith. The writers considered having Pocahontas' people only speak in Powhatan. John Candy was cast as Red Feather the Turkey. This was back when the animals had dialogue. Although he had most of his voiceover work done, the character was scrapped when Candy suddenly died. Pocahontas is American. The only the other American Disney princess is Tiana from the 2009 film The Princess and the Frog. Colors of the Wind won an Oscar for Best Song. The film won another Oscar for Best Music Score. Pocahontas is 18 years old. Sean Bean was considered for John Smith. The role went to Mel Gibson. Sean Bean probably rejected the role because it's in his contract that he has to die in everything. This was the first animated Disney film to have an interracial romance. The film was released on June 23rd, 1995. This was the 400 year anniversary of Pocahontas' birth. Jeffrey Katzenberg was the studio head of Disney at the time of the film's release. He was so proud of Pocahontas that he thought it would be Oscar nominated for Best Film. The film was universally panned and it didn't make as much money as Disney expected. Pocahontas 2 Journey to a New World was released in 1998. You should not have interfered. I beg your pardon. All right. You have it. I was trying to help. Many sources say that this film is a flop, but that's not true. Although it made nowhere near as much as The Lion King, it did make a considerable profit. It cost $55 million and made $346 million 
at the box office. And finally, Irene Bedard voices Pocahontas. Of the 60 plus actresses that have portrayed the character over the years, Bedard is the only one who is actually Native American. She is part Eskimo and part Cree Indian. She went on to play Pocahontas' mother in the 2005 film, The New World. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe. If there's any other anime films you want me to talk about, let me know and I'll upload a video as soon as possible. To learn more facts, check out my books on Amazon. They're available on paperback and Kindle. Thanks for watching. See you again.